Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in crypto and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, just like the thumbnail suggests, we're seeing more signs of FOMO, and we'll only have to look just as far as these first two polls, which we're gonna go over, which talks about different investors and just how badly they want cryptocurrency. Also, we'll take a look at uh, mass adoption as shop.com starts to accept crypto, and a little rumor action where Twitter is talking about using a tip jar specifically for Bitcoin. And finally, we'll take a look at uh, the new NFT platform for Solana, which I think will uh, ease up a lot of the fees and transactions and maybe propel Solana to the next stage. So we'll take a look what's going on there. But first, let's take a look what's going on in the market. So today it is uh, September 2nd and uh, another great day. I mean, uh, look, these days are a lot of hard work. And here we are at 2.22 trillion. 1.5% in 24 hours, not too shabby. Bitcoin price is 49.3, and the daily sentiment is still neutral, uh, but the Bitcoin daily sentiment is bullish. And just as we've talked about before, we're using the Trade the Chain platform. If you wanna take a look at that, this is all about sentiment analysis. The link is in the description. It looks something like this, and you can check it out over there. So also, let's take a look at some price action. So Bitcoin, 49.3, like we talked about. Ethereum is about to bust into the 4,000 range. I mean, we're at $3,700, somewhere around there. Yeah, not too shabby. Hopefully we can hit that 4,000 range, but who knows. Cardano uh, went above $3 yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, now it's at 297. Binance coin, 45, and then some other things. So in the last 24 hours, we're taking a look at it. Look out, 10% for Solana. We'll cover that in a little bit about what's going on there. 7% uh, for VeChain. 3% here and there, so not too bad. And also, if uh, you're looking to do some trading, I always talk about, if you're gonna do some trading, always know the technicals, technical analysis, fundamental analysis. Then with Trade the Chain, we can take a look at sentiment analysis. So let's take a look at the one hour projected range. And it looks like if you're looking into trades, take a look at uh, Argon, Haven Protocol, Cover, Polymath or Poly, uh, Rary and iExec RLC. All right, so that's what's going on in the market. Let's just take a look at uh, the big stories of the day, as I call them. And these aren't um, these aren't really big by themselves, but when you couple them together, you can kind of see what's going on. And this was the first poll, and it's not really a big thing. It's uh, it's just a snippet. It's just a sample size of what investors are looking into. And this was three out of four Russian investors would rather buy crypto than gold or fiat. And just to make this uh, crystal clear, this wasn't a very large sample size, so I don't really put too much stock into it, but it gives us a broader understanding of what's going on. So this was uh, a uh, Russian poll and about three out of four, 77.1% said that uh, who have never traded digital coins consider acquiring crypto in the near future. And which, okay, great. So, you know, FOMO is playing into effect. I think people see what's going on around them. They take a look at these NFTs. They take a look at the, the, the different price points. They take a look at what's going to happen in the future. And they say, you know what? This is something I get into. 15% of the polled admitted they had not yet made a final decision. So, I mean, you got three quarters, then 15%, but they're like, yeah, maybe. But I guarantee this. When everything and all the price starts going up, there's two things that are gonna happen. One, you're gonna hear from family and friends you haven't heard from in a long time, call you up or text you like, hey, what's up with this Cardano? What's up with this Solana? What's up with this Ethereum? And then before you know it, you're like, it's the same thing I've been telling you the last four years, jerk. Uh, you're supposed to get into it. I'm just kidding, you don't tell them jerks. But uh, that's what's gonna happen. And then uh, of course, the second thing is people are just gonna see it and be like, you know what, I need to get into this. Anyhow, 7.6% say they were not going to buy crypto at all. We'll see if that changes. The poll was conducted between August 4th and 24th among only 500 respondents. So again, not a big sample size, but that's not the point. It's just to give us a sample of what's going on. Then to finish this up, 50, around 50% decided to buy digital currencies in order to increase their long-term savings while those who sought quick profits are only 8%. And that's the kind of information and data I'd like to see. I like to see when people understand like, look, crypto is not an asset just to, just to get rich quick. It's something that I probably wanna hold for quite a long time and then put into my portfolio and just hold on for a while. I like to see that. So let me just think about that in the comment section. Let's go into the bigger poll. And this was conducted by BACT, B-A-K-K-T. And BACT is uh, for the uh, Intercontinental Exchange that owns the actual New York Stock Exchange. And 50%, uh, this survey states, 50% invested in crypto this year and what is going to happen coming up. So what we have here is this was commissioned by BACT. 
pulled more than 2,000 consumers across the U.S., and it ended in July 2021. And this is what the results were. Nearly half of U.S. consumers reported investing money in crypto during the first half of the year. And of the notes, it states, of those who haven't invested in crypto, a third of respondents are interested in buying crypto in the next six months. So again, the same type of data that we saw in the last one. Either they are getting into it or they want to get into it. And it's about 90% of people who really want to get into crypto. And what I found interesting here was this little data point, the amount of crypto owned. So remember, this was a while ago. I guarantee that people were like, yeah, yeah I buy like a hundred bucks or less of Solana or a hundred bucks or less of, of Cardano or, or Ethereum or whatever else it was. I guarantee that they haven't looked back, maybe haven't looked back, I wouldn't say guaranteed, but it's probably a, a lot more than what it is. And I can tell you right now, if these people uh, are looking at their portfolio day to day instead of just their traditional uh, market, which is not giving that much of a yield. I guarantee they're like, wow, I need to invest more into cryptocurrency because over the last, oh, I don't know, three months, we've hit like 100, 200%, and some of you even 1,000%, depending on what crypto asset you're into. And then this is where it gets good 58% view it crypto as a long-term investment. Same thing as the Russian one. 43% admit that they plan to sell when they can to make a short-term profit. Those are the short-sighted person, fine. But 24% reveal they plan to use crypto for online purchases and 12% said they plan to use it for in-person purchases. Amazing. And the study revealed that nearly 40% of respondents did not realize that they could buy part of a cryptocurrency. So I gotta tell you, I'm not doing my job if uh, these people don't know that. So I would urge everybody, when you're talking to your family, friends, and loved ones, and this is this goes for everybody out there, make sure they know that they don't have to buy a full Bitcoin. They don't have to buy a full Cardano. They don't have to buy a full tomato coin, or whatever it is, doesn't matter. They can just buy percentages of it, just like, just like a stock. You don't have to buy the full stock on Robin, and you can buy a part of a stock, but the value still goes up. So. Uh, if you could help me out, that would be great. And people could figure that out that, hey, I don't have to buy all this stuff. I can just put money where I want to. And then lastly, back CEO Gavin Michael said this, the results of the survey demonstrate that Gen Z and millennials are adopting crypto en masse and for alternative forms of payment, but the biggest roadblock stand in their way, lack of understanding and how to get started and concerns with market volatility. And that's why I created this thing that swings above my head uh, all the time right here. It's called danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free, so please share that. And uh, I can help out a little bit of people to understand exactly what crypto is and then how to get started and everything else. So that is that piece. And I wanna just make mention of this last part right here, or this part we just went over where it said that 24% revealed that they plan to use crypto for online purchases and 12% said they plan to use it for in-person. I'm like, who does that? Why would people do that? And this is my ignorance of being an American. And uh, that's gonna lead me to my next point, shop.com. So shop.com announces crypto acceptance to kick off the next chapter of business. And this was from, there was a, um, <clears throat> a seminar, big e-commerce seminar, and Steve Ashley, the president and CEO of Shipping.com announced this. Today I'm announcing that Shop.com is going to be offering Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several other crypto through BitPay. We're gonna be offering uh, this at Shop.com sites worldwide in all of our market countries. And we take a look at the website. It's very prominently displayed, <clears throat> excuse me, BitPay is right here. Pay with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and more. And it's like, just they announce it and it's done. I like that, I like to see that. And then uh, to finish up, he states, and this is, again, this is my ignorance, because in for me, it's very easy to buy everything. I'm in America, I'm in Texas, it's super simple, right? So I'm just going to use cash or credit card or debit, or I'm going to use StormX, whatever. But it's, he states, in countries like Taiwan, Thailand, Argentina, Brazil, and Indonesia, it's very hard to make payments. Really? Okay. Credit cards are not everywhere, and in those countries, BitPay and crypto is the cheapest quickest payment option to accept Bitcoin and receive crypto payments option as well. So I was like, okay, that makes sense, I suppose, but I don't know anything about shop.com. So I went to this website, it's called similarweb.com. And I don't know how big this is, but as far as like ranking, eh, it does okay as far as like global rankings, but this was the big thing, total visits. This was per month. They get about 2 million people per month. I'm like, that's pretty good. I mean, that's 2 million people more than what we had before. And what are they gonna see in the very beginning? 
They're going to see this. And then we're going to, what are they going to see on MSNBC and CNN and all the different rags out there? Talk about cryptocurrency. And then, oh, what are they going to see when they uh, go watch the Portland Trailblazer game? They're going to see Storm X's logo right there or Major League Baseball or NFL. I'm telling you, this is the year. And then lastly, I found this fascinating that shop.com, 25% of people are in the United States. But of course, in Taiwan, 52% of all their users are there. So roughly half America, Malaysia, Canada, and so on and so forth. So I think... This isn't by itself isn't big news, but I think everything adds up and that leads us to mass adoption, hopefully. So let me just think about that in the comments section. And uh, let's just finish up with a little bit of a rumor and uh, some good news. So this was just real quick. Uh, Twitter's going to roll out Bitcoin tipping feature. Maybe. I don't know. This is just a rumor. So take it with a grain of salt. And what it states here is that uh, details and latest Twitter beta indicate that users will be directed through a Bitcoin tutorial. That includes details on Bitcoin Light Network and custodial and non-custodial wallets. Great. And this is what they see. So they're thinking that this is going to lead to the tip jar for people to use the Lightning Network and to use Bitcoin. Uh, services with the, the tip jar are Cash App, which makes sense. Patreon, PayPal, and Venmo. And I was like, I don't remember seeing that. But I'm like, oh, yeah, it's true. So like right here, hey, there's Chad. I could tip Chad. Just click on this little tip thing right here. And another thing will open up and you can tip them in uh, basic attention token or whatever else you want. So uh, that's just a rumor. And I think if that happens, uh, now we're going even to more mass adoption because more people see, hey, I can use this thing called Bitcoin, the Lightning Network, and there's no fees. Uh, I like that. And then on top of that, uh, where did it say it? It said it somewhere around here that uh, I didn't, uh, didn't have it, but Twitter takes no cut of the those transactions. So I found that interesting. Anyhow, let me know if you think that's like a, a great thing or a good thing. I think it's good. And uh, let's finish up with our last one, which is why I think Solana is uh, taking off and will take off to the moon. So if you don't know, uh, NFTs are exploding. I'm not big in NFTs right now. I can see the whole prospect of it. I actually learned about this from uh, Crypto Stash. Go feel them a follow. That guy knows everything about NFTs. I know very little. But uh, I can tell you this, it's everywhere. And as far as I understand, transaction fees on the Ethereum network are pretty high. Uh, on Solana, they're very low. So SolC, which is solc.io, uh, they're going to be doing their own NFTs over there for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the cost of minting everything on Ethereum. And this is just one. Cardano is the same type of way. So uh, if this is going to happen in 19 hours. It'll be go live. And then... Um, I don't really think, didn't think too much about NFTs as far as the art part. But if you think about all the different athletes and the musicians and the creative people and everything that wants to be minted as far as baseball cards and whatever else, this is from Des Bryant. Des Bryant was, uh, uh, or it was a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. And he talks about how, hey, you don't, if you're a professional athlete, you don't need to go through those guys. You can go through uh, our platform. You can go through any Solana platform. You can do whatever you want to, and you can mint your own cards and your own data and, and everything that you want, and you can keep control of yourself. And I think as time goes on, this is one of those things where it's going to open up everything to these musicians, to these creators, to just people, to just, I mean, even if you want to tokenize assets, if you want to tokenize um, properties, I mean, this is could be potentially where it's at. And this could really make a make a big play. And not only that, if you want to talk about mass adoption, who do you see on Twitter? Who do you see on Instagram? Who do you see on YouTube? Who do you see on all these social platforms? Celebrities. When they get into this and they talk about NFTs on the blockchain, people want to know more. It's just a round circle, and you'll just they'll just be bombarded with it. And that's where FOMO really does come in. So that is what I think. And then I'll finish up with this, that Solana talks about the, the NFT on a Metaplex. Let's, let's artists and creators launch their own self-broadcast NFT store uh, as easily as building a website, ultra fast NFTs with insane low minting fees. And this is where it all kind of came home for me. You can own your own NFT storefront and anybody can do it. And uh, it's pretty cheap. So look, uh, that is it. That is it for today. So there's a lot of things going on. I think this is a uh, fantastic times. Don't expect everything to go straight up hockey stick up. Uh, we're going to see some a little bit of turbulence. That's what crypto is all about. But uh, be patient. You've come this far. So uh, why don't you just wait a little bit longer? Not investment advice, just investment opinion. All right. So look, that's it for today. So first of all, thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talked about on this channel are time sensitive. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.